What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and we continue our series of the road to the title, to the French Open title for 2021, and we're going to be having a look at Igis Fiontek's road to the title and the players that she's probably going to have to beat if she is going to win her back-to-back -back French Open trophies. Of course, she's the defending champion, currently world number nine. Let's go have a look at her road to victory. All right, so our first round opponent is going to be against Juvan, an opponent she actually played earlier in the year and beat in three tight sets. So her first round opponent might not be as easy as it seems, but you would expect that Sviantek will win that matchup. Her second round opponent is likely to be Shelby Rogers, and Sviantek has a 1-0 head-to-head record against her as well, and that match being on a hard court, so you'd expect that on a clay court, Sviantek should be able to beat Rogers. Heading into the third round, Sviantek is most likely going to play the 30th seed, Contivate, and interestingly enough, Contivate actually has a winning record over Sviantek, 2-0, so they've played the twice, and Sviantek has not beaten her yet. So it's not going to be an easy match in her third round if she does play against the 30th seed, but these two have never played on clay so you would expect Sviantek on clay should be able to get over the 30th seed Contivate. Heading into the fourth round now and the number 12 seed awaits. Gabinia Muguruza is going to be the 12th seed and is a, probably the most likely player that Sviantek will have to face. Interestingly enough 1-0 is the head-to-head -head, and it's in favor of Muguruza with these two playing in Dubai earlier this year and Muguruza serving up a bagel so that is not going to be an easy match for Sviantek. The other scenario would be that she plays against the 22nd seed Martic who she has never played before so you would expect that on the clay courts, Sviantek should be able to beat Martic. And if Sviantek could have her choice, she would definitely not want to pick Muguruza, especially the way that Muguruza beat her only a couple of months ago. Heading into the quarterfinals now, and the two players that she is most likely going to place Sviantek in those quarterfinals, it might be a replay of the final of the French Open last year. Sophia Kennan, the fourth seed, is awaiting in that quarterfinal with these two only playing the one time before being that French Open final back in 2020. So Sviantek would like her chances against Kennan. And the other scenario would be that she plays against Elise Mertens, an opponent she has never played before. So again, you would expect when she's never played someone's Sviantek, she should be able to beat them on the clay courts, especially the way she was beating opponents last year who she had never faced. Heading into the semifinals now and the most likely opponents, there's two of them, the world number one, Ash Barty. These two have played only the one time and that was actually a few weeks ago with Barty getting the win. But Sviantek did have a lead on Barty in the first set. So maybe if she can capitalize on that lead, she can turn the tables at the semifinals. And the other player is the number five seed Svetolina, who she has only played the one time before, which was actually back in Rome a couple of weeks ago. And Sviantek got the win. So if Sviantek could have her choice, she would definitely rather play Svetolina. But if she does have to play Barty, which I think a lot of us are projecting to happen, she can definitely get the win. Heading into the final now, as Sviantek makes it all the way to the final, there's two opponents that stand out, with Sabalenka being the most obvious one, the world number four, the third seed of this event. She actually never played Sabalenka before, so it would be a very interesting matchup because remember, Sabalenka has never made it to a Grand Slam final, and Sviantek does have a French Open to her name, so based on experience, even though they're both young, you would expect that Sviantek should beat Sabalenka in that big final. And the other opponent that she might face is the number two seed, Naomi Osaka. Now, we know Osaka is not a great clay court player, but if she does get all the way to the final, Osaka does have a leading head-to-head -head record against Sviantek 1-0. That match was two years ago on a hard court though and we're playing on clay this week so Sviantek I would expect would be the favorite against Osaka so there it is the road to victory for Iga Sviantek to back up her 2020 French Open title can she go back to back let me know down in the comments below who's her toughest opponent and how far is she going to go in this tournament I think Barty's her toughest opponent I think if she gets through the semi-finals the final is there for the taking for Sviantek so the defending champion she's got a pretty tough road to the final but if she can get through that semi she might be able to back it up